I work in uh, a variety of areas uh, in the environmental field, uh, but I'm a chemical engineer. I was a professor at North Carolina State University. And one of the first uh, um, issues that we want to talk about today is sustainability. Uh, as you have heard, there are lots of definitions, but for me it's a fairly simple definition, which is that sustainability is a step or a change that moves towards improvement. Uh, and, and we'll see that in a variety of dimensions, but it is this concept of moving forward. And so uh, whenever we say that, the next question that should come to your mind is, well, how do you know it's forward or backwards? How do we measure this? Uh, because sustainability comes in a variety of forms. We have environmental sustainability, which people generally uh, believe is probably the most important because it's the planet. Uh, we also have uh, similar uh, sorts of uh, evaluations referred to as social uh, life cycles and others that are called economic life cycles. So you have to obviously figure out which of those three uh, you might be interested in. But the whole concept of, of, of change then is this is concept of stepping forward. So life cycle, life cycle is the way in which we measure change. Uh, so obviously it's a very important tool because it's what tells us whether we're moving forward. Now, as you can imagine in any measurement technique, um, and life cycle is one of those, uh, the concept uh, that we most are concerned about is, is it fair? Is it rigorous? Is it transparent? Do we believe that we have included all of the factors in order to say that where we are today and where we want to change to, whether it's a product, whether it's an entire social system, whatever, is it better? And if so, how do we measure it and, and how do we define that? So a, a way, an analogy to that uh, that I'd like to, to share with you is imagine you're uh, on a soccer team, you're playing in a soccer match. You expect the referee to know the rules and to be fair. And that's what life cycle is trying to do in the field of sustainability, is to have rigorous rules, to have complete rules, and to be fair, meaning that I include everything that might be of concern. Now life cycle is divided into two parts. The most critical part is referred to as life cycle inventory. So that's the core data that we use to evaluate whether from an environmental point of view, whether or not we're using more energy, whether we're distributing more emissions into the environment, uh, a variety of things which are critical pieces. Life cycle, the second piece is what's referred to as life cycle impact assessment. So these emissions and the use of energy are translated into things that you read about in the newspaper. What's our carbon footprint? What's our water footprint? How much solid waste do we make? And so keep those two separate in your own mind because life cycle inventory, if you don't get that right, everything else you do is probably not correct. The last uh, uh, element of what we would uh, uh, like to concern ourselves with is what are the barriers uh, to using these uh, tools. Let's call them scorecards. It's the way in which you look at the, the two results that you're trying to compare. What are some of the barriers? And I think probably in simple terms, in my experience, if you would, the major barrier is transparency. The ability to take what has been done in the study and put it forward uh, in a way that everybody can look at it critically Sometimes that's a little hard for you who generate a life cycle, but it's a very important step. So transparency defines what rules did you use, what calculations did you use, what uh, other elements did you use in making, the, and is it big enough? Does it include all the pieces? It turns out that if it doesn't include all the pieces, it still could be an important contribution to our knowledge. It's just we have to know that it's not as big as it should be. And so the, the, I'll leave you with a, a classic example of why transparency is important. In our uh, astronaut program, we had a, uh, a rocket ship called the uh, Challenger. And the Challenger took off uh, and blew up in, in, in flight. Uh, before that, the very complex uh, elements that went into making this thing work were all done by separate people not talking to each other. Each one was responsible for their job, but they weren't very transparent. So nobody could have ever figured out what was wrong and what made it blow up. 
It's only when it was finished that you went back and looked at it and said, oh, that was what the problem was. So life cycle transparency is, a, is a, both a barrier and in a sense uh, a, an opportunity to make the, the tools that we use better uh, because uh, the overall concept of improvement in, includes not only our tools but sustainability. So I, I appreciate you listening uh, to these comments and certainly uh, as uh, Dr. Kara uh, has uh, indicated, uh, we'll try to respond to any questions you have in the future. Thank you.